Asus recently launched two new smartphones in India, the Zenfone Max M1 and the Zenfone Lite L1. Both these smartphones are priced under 9,000 rupees and are aimed squarely at the Redmi 6 and the Redmi 6A respectively. We already reviewed the Zenfone Max M1 and while its processor was showing its age, it did offer good battery life. The Zenfone Lite L1 has the same processor and is priced aggressively at 6,999 rupees and is available at an even lower festive price tag of 5,999 rupees. But is the Lite L1 worth the price it commands? We take it for a spin to find out. The Lite L1 is made primarily out of plastic and has average build quality. The SIM tray is on the left and has two nano SIM slots and a dedicated micro SD card slot. There is support for 4G and VOLT on both SIMs, but only one can connect to 4G at a time. It has a 5.45 inch IPS display with HD plus resolution and an 18 is to 9 aspect ratio. The size makes it easy to use in one hand and the corners of the display are easy to reach. The screen has decent viewing angles, which is acceptable for the price. The back seems bare minimum as it only has the primary camera and the flash at the top left corner and the ASUS branding right in the center. The Zenfone L1 is powered by the octa-core Qualcomm Snapdragon 430 processor. This is a slightly older chipset and is powering this affordable device. There is 2GB of RAM and 16GB of internal storage which is further expandable using the microSD card slot which accepts cards up to 256GB. The direct competitor to the Lite L1 is the Redmi 6A which sports a more recent processor, the MediaTek Helio A22. Asus ships the Lite L1 with Android Oreo with Zen UI on top, which comes with a few customizations and pre-installed apps. The Lite L1 lets you set up face recognition to unlock the smartphone and takes about 2 seconds to unlock the phone. While the UI is smooth, we did observe it slowing down after running a couple of apps in the background. Compared to the Max M1, the lower RAM on the Lite L1 is the reason for longer load times and random slowdowns. Out of the 16 GB of internal storage, you get roughly around 8 GB for apps and games. With file sizes of apps and games ballooning, we had to uninstall a few apps before we could install games like PUBG on the phone. We tried using a microSD card slot, but the phone did not give the option to format and use it as internal memory. PUBG Mobile takes a long time to load, but the phone is capable of playing it at the lowest settings. The touch response of the display was a little slow as well. We saw stutters during gameplay as well as a higher battery drain. Alto's Odyssey also had occasional slowdowns. The Lite L1 packs in a 3000mAh battery and gets a 5.2W charger in the box. In our HD video loop test, the phone managed to go on for 9 hours and 10 minutes, which is lower than the Max M1. With our usage consisting of playing game for half an hour, an active WhatsApp account, it lasted us over one day without needing the plug. Just like the Max M1, the Lite L1 also has a 13 megapixel primary camera and the camera app is identical. Photos clicked from the Lite L1 were average at best. Zoom into a landscape shot and you will see fine grains. You can use the HDR toggle in the bright scene and it does improve the output. The phone couldn't focus on the subject when clicking macros and the output was decent but not as good as the Max M1. Low light is where the camera performance drops down a notch. It fails to capture good details and the aggressive noise reduction causes a filter-like effect in the output. Selfies clicked from the Lite L1 are good enough to be shared on social media apps and is acceptable for the price. Portrait mode is available for both the primary and the selfie camera, but the edge detection isn't great. We also found the background blur to be very aggressive, causing it to look artificial. Video recording maxes out at 1080p for both the primary and the selfie camera. There is no video stabilization available, leading to shaky footage. The ASUS Zenfone Lite L1 is priced aggressively at 6,999 rupees, but is available for 5,999 rupees under Flipkart's festive Dhamaka Day sale. The Snapdragon 430 is slower compared to the newer processors that are available in the market and the 2GB of RAM creates another bottleneck, holding it back from delivering a fluid experience. If you are on a strict budget, you may want to consider the Xiaomi Redmi 6A, or I would recommend that you stretch your budget a little and go for the Max M1 instead. So that was our review of the Zenfone Lite L1. What do you think about this device? Let us know in the comment section below. And as always, for all things tech, stay tuned to Gadgets360.com.